Hey guys, and welcome back for another book review video. Today I'll be reviewing The 50th Law by Robert Greene and 50 Cent. Now the book was actually written by Robert Greene who followed 50 Cent for about a year to learn about his basic business dealings and how he interacts with people in most settings for, like I said, about a year. First of all, 50 Cent grew up with his grandparents because unfortunately his mother was murdered when he was eight years old and I guess he never knew his father. And so as a troubled youth growing up in the rough side of Queens, New York, he basically had to overcome poverty and the urban disadvantages that existed in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. He had to learn how to be independent. He was very self-motivated, obviously, without having parents to back him up. He had to learn pretty early that the world was cold and hard. All it did to him was just make him strive harder and work harder for what he wanted. He was very determined and even at a young age. And he learned to be pretty ruthless, to be honest. And that's why uh, Robert Greene likened him to Napoleon Bonaparte. His reign was actually controversial. Some people look up to him and some people saw him as a dictator. But either way, he did some amazing feats in the military. So that's why he was likened to 50 Cent, who overcame great obstacles in his lifetime. Took the money that he earned from pushing drugs in the streets to fund his music career, which then was able to fund his business pursuits. And that's how he is where he is today, a very successful businessman, ex-rapper, and ex-street hustler. 50 Cent had to basically constantly reinvent himself. And he said that's probably one of the number one laws of true success. You have to change with the tide of the people and the consumers and what is hot and trendy. And Green actually learned a few things from 50. He said that the less you fear, the more power you will have and the more fully you will live. He also said one thing we can actually control is our mindset, which we respond to events around us and we can overcome our fears and actually have a larger control over circumstances because of it. In fact, there was a quote from 50 Cent that was very good. It goes, every negative is a positive. The bad things that happen to me, I somehow make them good. That means you can't do anything to hurt me. In other words, everybody has setbacks, everybody has failures, but what you can do is you can take those negative situations and events that occur and you can look at them more intently and instead of being hurt by them or beaten by them, you can look at them as learning lessons. There are a lot of things that happen to us that seem negative on the surface, but in reality, Life is what you make it. How you feel about every situation is what your life is. 50 uh, also said that in general, obstacles force you and your mind to focus and find ways around them so that you heighten your mental powers. And so therefore, obstacles should be welcomed. And he actually admits to scheming and plotting and maybe stepping on a few toes along the way, which he also reminds us that is not really a bad thing because it's technically a dog eat dog world that we live in. And most people are out to satisfy their selves and their own personal desires and needs. And so if we do have to leave others behind, we shouldn't feel bad about it because we're only doing what's in our nature as human beings. We want the best for ourselves and the people we love. And so sometimes not necessarily have to step on people, but we have to push them out of our way so that they're not holding us back. Important lessons to learn if you intend on becoming a leader, learn that it's better to be respected and feared than to be loved. Book also said, he said that realism is in fact the ideal we must aspire to, the highest point of human rationality. In other words, you have to see everything for what it is. Don't be blinded by people's manipulation. Don't be blinded by your own naivety. You can't just look at everything as, oh, you know, sowing good seeds, that's all I'm gonna get back. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. And so we have to be ready for those situations and know that that's, again, just a lesson for us to learn from. But he said that we should get rid of our fear and guilt that we have for asserting ourselves because getting ahead in the world, you must be willing to occasionally bend the moral code. And that's what he kind of had to do with the whole pushing the drugs thing. Some people may look at it as a bad thing, but coming where he came from, if you knew the opportunities that he had at his feet, you would take whatever you could get or you're going to be the person that's taken from. You have to be watchful of the people that are around you and their true intentions. 
they have to be ruthless. And a lot of us don't. We come from kind of middle class backgrounds where we had everything we ever wanted and we're almost shunned down upon for wanting more. Like, oh, you have what you need. You should be satisfied because you're not poor. And it's like, no, but sometimes you want a little bit more in life and that's okay. It's okay to want a little more and to see things that you desire that you don't actually have right now, but knowing you're doing something to possibly get there. And he also says that we need to build a reputation of toughness and getting results so that people will respect us. And your energy and your passion for whatever it is that you're doing will convince people to follow you. Robert Greene summed up from Watching 50 that success depends on your ability to move outside of yourself and connect to the social networks. So in other words, you should seek maximum interaction with your consumers so that you can get feedback that can help you actually contour what you produce so that it will not fail. And I can actually relate that to my YouTube channel. If I want my YouTube channel to actually be better, then I have to read my feedback, the comments, I have to read emails, I have to read anything that comes my way from my supporters or from my detractors. Why? Because that's how I can contour my product to make it even better interest of the crowd changes and the trends change so we have to be able to move along with that you can't be the company that still makes horses and carriages in a, in a world where cars and automobiles and planes exist robert green suggests that you can have anything you want through sheer persistence your progress step by step there are no shortcuts to long lasting success and finding your true passion will help you deal with boredom associated with hard work that it takes to reach a goal Staying motivated and saying, you know what, I may not be there yet, but I'm on my way and I'm getting better at what it is that I'm trying to, this, this craft, this project, this skill, whatever it is that I'm trying so hard to be successful at, I'm getting better at it by the day and I can see my improvements and so I know I'll be successful. That should be the momentum that you use to keep you going through those long, hard, drudgy days where you're just work, work, work and not really seeing the results exactly. We are worth as much as our willpower is to achieve. So in other words, if you have the will, then you can find the way. And that's an old saying, but it's actually pretty true. And a lot of people have proved that over the years. The book also mentioned a lot of other great names like Abraham Lincoln and Malcolm X. Like I said, Napoleon Bonaparte. There were a lot of greats mentioned in the book and they were all likened to 50 Cent because they were all fearless and intelligent, successful people who did something that affected a lot of other people. As it was a good book, I learned a lot and it was very motivating for me, especially in this time of my life where I'm in my own pursuits, if you will. And so leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Is this something that you would be interested in as well? And I will definitely link the page that I got the book from. Thanks guys. And I will see you next time. Have a great one.